you know, most of us think that we know everything there is to know about water because it's the simplest molecule and has been studied for years and therefore everybody assumes that everything about water is known, but it's absolutely not true. And what we discovered uh, that's in a recent book called The Fourth Phase of Water is that there really is a fourth phase of water. This had been suggested a hundred years ago by a, an eminent uh, colloid chemist. And, but people recently, you know, the, with the resurgence of interest in molecular biology, water is out of the picture. But water is definitely in the picture. And, and that's part of the reason for organizing this conference. We've put together this meeting on the physics, chemistry, and biology of water. This time it's in Bulgaria. It makes total sense to have a meeting on water here because Bulgaria has something like 40% of all the mineral waters in all of Europe. So uh, the, the concept of water and health is a concept that runs strong at this meeting. So it's natural to have a water conference in a place that has the water. It's the dissemination of knowledge. We invite people who have really interesting things, interesting evidence, uh, data, ideas on water. You know, water is a subject that uh, hasn't really been deeply studied. It was studied a half century ago. Everybody knew that water was of central importance for all of science, especially for uh, health. And that's been forgotten. There were a couple of debacles that took place. One of them is known as uh, poly water. And 20 years later, another one that was known as water memory. And there were some incidents that took place that uh, made it look as though the people who had espoused these ideas were crazy, were nuts, and were not really doing cogent science. And, and so it put off a lot of researchers who had been interested in studying water for fear that they might inspire another similar debacle. When I got my PhD, there was a professor who said to me, gave me some advice. He said, you can study anything in your career, but don't study water because water is really dangerous. You'll get yourself in trouble. I had no interest in water at the time and I had no clue why he said it, but it was so out of context that I remember all these years what he said. And so, crazy guy, I immersed myself in water uh, about a decade and, and a half ago. And it turns out that there's so much to learn about water and the properties of water. And the conference is here to, to disseminate that kind of information. We learn from, from one another. Uh, you know, it's really difficult to know what's going on in some places in the world. Some, some research is obscure. It's published in journals that other people may read, but you, you know, water, water's everywhere. So there might be a journal in an agricultural paper and you might be a physicist and you have no idea that an interesting paper has appeared that's relevant to their interests that appear in a journal in another discipline. The attendance of the meeting uh, continues to increase as uh, people learn that there are so many new findings on water. It attracts people to come to the meeting. Welcome to Bulgaria. I am Slavi and I will be your host for the next few minutes. An exciting trip awaits us. Bulgaria is attractive for holiday and visits all year round because of its beautiful nature, favorable climate, amazing cultural heritage and folklore. We invite you for a trip. Traditionally, we welcome our guests with bread, salt, and honey. This is how we show our hospitality. Nazdrave! That's right! 
Usually, Nazdrave is one of the first Bulgarian words our guests learn after Dobor Den and Blagodaria. The Bulgarian national drink is called rakia and is mostly made from grapes. We're in Nasebur, some 35 kilometers from Burgas. This is one of the oldest Bulgarian cities, together with Plovdiv and Sofia. More than 3,000 years of age. Nesebara attracts thousands of visitors. So many memories of ancient peoples are amassed in this spot. So much energy in one place. Thracians, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Bulgarians. The city is one of the nine material sites in Bulgaria included in the UNESCO list of World Heritage. Wherever you turn, to the north or to the south of Nesebur, along the entire coast, you will enjoy sandy dunes. Go to Arkotina to see the Ropotamo Natural Reserve. If you like diving, there are hundreds of sunken ships and treasures in the Black Sea especially near Cape Kaliakra and Kamembriak. You want to combine two pleasures, sea and golf? You wonder what your destination shall be? Only 40 kilometers from Varna Airport, there are three big golf courses, of a total area exceeding 50 acres, with professional services and shops. The courses were designed by golf celebrities such as Gary Player and Ian Woosnam. Enjoy the game, and when you look up, enjoy the sea view too. Bulgaria also has its megalithic compound, and not only one. They were recently found and are not yet as famous as their English and Breton analogues. Ours is called Beglik Tash. Here, the stones outline one of the most accurate solar calendars. At the end of summer, near Zhiravna village, a festival of Bulgarian folklore costumes is held. When it gets dark and fires are lit, you will witness a unique ritual, fire dancing, or nestinarstvo. The ritual is so powerful and so ancient that it still holds much of pagan tradition. The dancers say that they perform in a divine trance and do not feel the burning of the embers. It is a fact that authentic dancers do not have any marks on their feet after the dance. Only 15 years ago, nobody even suspected the importance of this place. This is the ancient compound Perpericon. The rocks here were worshipped as long ago as in the Neolithic period. Another beautiful place in the eastern Rhodopis. The bridge they call the Devil's Bridge is more than 500 years old. Why the name the Devil's Bridge? The reflections of its three arches in the water form the head of the Devil. What are the Rodopi Mountains without bagpipes, a traditional Bulgarian instrument? The bagpipe which can touch your heart. Listen. The Rila Mountains are the highest in Bulgaria and on the Balkan Peninsula, with their highest peak, Musala. Rila and Pirin are enchanting with their glacial lakes. It is exciting to dip into the mineral water pool, knowing that before you, imperial personages have relaxed here between battles and have decided the destiny of peoples. Don't you wish to be in their place? This is Hisaria, one of the most famous spa resorts in Bulgaria, and I really feel like an emperor. Only here, there are 22 different kinds of water. The town was founded 17 centuries ago by the Roman Emperor, Nucletian. He chose the place for its priceless mineral waters.
Here, mineral water treatment started centuries ago and continues today. See for yourselves. Yogurt and white brine cheese are our national identity. Yogurt is ascertained as very beneficial for the human body. It has an excellent taste and dietetic and healing properties. Bulgarian yogurt is the reason for longevity, especially in the Rodopi area. In Bulgaria, we keep the old winemaking traditions of the Thracians. Not by chance, they worshipped Dionysus, the god of wine. The first stop of our wine trip is the winery near Starosel village. Here is the largest royal burial compound found. The Thracians believed in an afterlife, and that is why they buried their dead with many gifts and items to serve them after death. The Madara Horseman is the only rock carving in Europe that dates back to the early Middle Ages. A similar artifact is found in Persia only. The cave near the bas relief used to be a Thracian shrine, and nowadays it is a concert site. Sofia, the capital city in Roman times, had the name of Serdica. Once the city was conquered by none other than Philip of Macedonia, the father of Alexander of Macedonia. Serdica was the favorite city of Emperor Constantine the Great, who even considered moving his capital from Rome to here. This is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral Monument, the tallest Orthodox church in the Balkans. In clear weather, its bells can be heard at a distance of 30 kilometers. Speaking of capital cities, we are heading east. There are the three former Bulgarian capitals, Pliska, 7th century, Veliki Preslav, called the Great. This Bulgarian capital became famous as a cultural and educational center. Here, books were translated into the new Slavic alphabet created by the Holy Brothers Cyril and Methodius. It is impossible to miss Tsarevets. The third Bulgarian capital is today's Velikotonovo city. When you go among the hills as if carved by the river Yantra, you will be enchanted by the sharp heights and naturally inaccessible rocks. Visit us in summer, come back in winter. Our largest winter ski resorts, Bansko, Pomporovo and Borovitz, are called the Big Three. No doubt Bansko has the most snow of all, and is also the most attractive. Over 50 kilometers of ski slopes of various difficulty, cabin and ski lifts, ski and snowboard schools, hotel and spa compounds, mineral water pools, something for everyone. Here in recent years, World-famous skiers have come to open the season personally and try the good skiing slopes. After a pleasant day skiing comes the even more pleasant evening, in good company, with delicious local specialties and good red wine. Are you tired? Pleasantly tired? Quite so. Wherever you go in Bulgaria, on whichever side of the Balkans and in its high mountains, you will be surprised. Along with the conditions for sports, recreation and entertainment, by natural beauties, ancient ruins and preserved live traditions, to you, our guests, we promise all Bulgarian recipes for hospitality. The Institute for Venture Science. This is an organization that attempts to, uh, to restore science to the exciting uh, kind of uh, venture that it once was that produced breakthroughs practically annually. We're talking about 100 years ago. Now, 
you see very few breakthroughs. And I think the reason for the few breakthroughs is institutional science. And the way the institutions work is that they're set up in such a way inadvertently to promote existing ideas and uh, not ideas that challenge those views. And so our idea is to, um, to fund, eventually, to fund ideas uh, that cogent ideas, promising ideas that challenge mainstream thinking, where in some cases mainstream thinking might not be the truth. And um, it exists in many fields. People challenge the existing paradigm. The system needs to change in such a way that promising ideas can really see the light of day. And that's, that's what we're attempting to do with the Institute for Venture Science, www.theinstituteforventurescience.org. icmedicals.com changing the way we think about medicine the emission project's latest endeavor ic medicals is set at an intersection of such sciences as physics biology and medicine ic medicals is dedicated to developing the technology of remote transfer of informational copies otherwise known as super weak electromagnetic emissions of biologically active substances via communication lines with additional ic transfer to a temporary carrier following ic transfer procedures a temporary carrier may be used as a source of biologically active super weak electromagnetic emissions for specific effects on water and aqueous systems this project combines the following natural phenomena Biological objects emit super weak electromagnetic signals, also termed here as informational copies. With such emission, these signals have an effect on other living systems in a characterized manner. Informational copies may be emitted also by non-living systems, for example, chemical compounds. Informational copies of chemical compounds have a coherence effect on biosystems and notably water. Under influence of informational copies, water changes in physical or structural properties and becomes an informational carrier for this emission signal. Informed water has been shown to have effects on biological objects, similar to the effects of the substance in which the informational copy was derived. Water, as an informational carrier, retains informational copies and further becomes an informational copy source, carrying with it intrinsic features from the original information source, much like a photograph of a photograph. IC Medical's project is currently developing an integrated global medical crowdsourcing platform, implementing into wide-scale practice the use of informational copies of biologically active substances for treatment and prophylaxis of various diseases. In achieving early-stage project initiatives, several technical issues had to be solved. Technical centers were equipped with informational copies informed with active properties of medicines which have been made available for patient-practitioner download and use. Websites connected to technical centers have been designed and launched in multiple languages. With help of a personal computer or handheld device, IC Medical Sites allow Internet-accessible patient practitioners the ability to receive the informational copies from the IC Medical's technical center. Currently, our growing global network of physicians and researchers have performed more than 4,000 tests and clinical observations. Informational copies of direct opposite initial medical drugs cause opposite effects. Saline or water exposed to the disc reduces the manifestation of hypersensitivity and, in fact, inhibits allergic reactions. 
We place a vial containing a solution of fullerenes onto the carrier disc and influence it with a laser by slightly projecting the beam through the solution and onto the disc. After a period of two and one half minutes, the disc will acquire the active information and its ability to stimulate the immune system. We use only this vial without opening it. There has been a complete restoration to normal immunoreactivity in animals treated with the solution which had been exposed onto the disc. Practical use of the IC Medicals technology provides expected, predictable results. Some would say this technology is not possible and it will never be possible. If more people explore this technology with an open mind, then this area of research will be developed. Because these phenomena occur in the real world, no doubt, it is worth exploring them in a larger capacity. Therefore, it is necessary to study their underlying fundamental mechanisms. Of the patients treated by the informed water remedies, results of conventional studies have shown high efficiency and little or no side effects in comparison with their associated chemical analogues. IC Medical Sites have now begun development of a patient practitioner crowdsource user platform, giving access to virtual diagnostic solutions, personal medical history cabinets, practitioner databases, and most of all, an increase in control over their own personal health practice. Scientists from multiple countries, representing various branches of science, are cooperating to experimentally prove these phenomena exist and have a crucial and practical importance. The obtained experimental results serve as a basis for existing and developing systems, allowing researchers to implement super-weak electromagnetic emissions of informational copies in medicine, agriculture and veterinary science. For more information, please visit www.icmedicals.com. icmedicals.com, changing the way we think about medicine. Water is the building block to life. Yet are you aware of what is in your drinking water? Water is everywhere. You drink it, you bathe in it, you cook with it. Your health and well-being depend on it. Shouldn't you know what you're drinking? Most scientists today don't really think of water as being important. Uh, they think of water as, as being, well, as I said, just like that. However, we all know that we're two-thirds water, approximately. And if you translate that two-thirds into the number of molecules, because the water molecule is so small, it turns into more than 99% of our molecules are water molecules. Recently, it has come to light that over 213 million people in the United States drink water laced with chromium-6. Have a glass of water in front of you? There are over 80,000 chemicals and toxins in drinking water identified that might be in that glass of water that you drink. But the government only regulates about 40 of them. That's about 0.05%. An epidemic of arsenic toxicity is now being experienced in that part of the world. The World Health Organization predicts 140 million people are drinking arsenic toxic water every day. If you look closely, the news is riddled with headlines outlining the industrial and chemical damage to our natural water resources, water pipes and drinking water. From radioactive materials to pharmaceuticals to hormones, water is no longer water, but a chemical mixture of toxins and pollutants that have been linked to early onset puberty, cancer, autism, kidney damage, liver disease, and many more waterborne diseases. So now that you know what can be in your water, what is the solution? Davinia Water, unquestionably the world's purest water. No other bottled water company compares to our commitment to quality. Why choose Davinia Water? Simple. 
The Vinia is the only bottled water on earth that provides clean, hydrating, oxygenated, deuterium depleted easy water. The Vinia water is scientifically proven to be both EZ or exclusion zone and deuterium depleted water at a thousand times more pure than bottled water, tap water, glacial water, spring water, rain water, or any other kind of water available. It's also proven to be more hydrating to the cell, thanks to the exclusive patented technology. When you drink Davinia water, you're hydrating your body with the purest water to enter your cells. Davinia is easy water. Easy water is the same water found in your cells, converted by your body to energize your mitochondria. But with Davinia, you can just drink easy water, and it's essentially free energy so, to your body. The cells are full of macromolecules, proteins, nucleic acids, and each one of these is a nucleating site to build easy water. So around each one of these is easy water. Now, the easy water is negatively charged, and the region beyond is positively charged. So you have charge separation. And these separated charges are free, available, to drive reactions inside your cells. The first graph shows the indication of easy zone in rainwater. The second graph shows the indication of the easy zone of Davinia water, showing the clearest indication of easy water found which is found in Davinia water. Davinia is also deuterium depleted. Deuterium depleted water, or DDW, is water with reduced hydrogen isotopes. This means that the water is lighter and more bioavailable to drink. My report is dedicated to influence of deuterium depleted water on biological activity, uh, toxicity components of pharmaceuticals. Nowadays, the most important uh, in current use of deuterium depleted water is, is as an adjuvant in the uh, prevention and treatment of cancer diseases. The proven synergetic effects of deuterium depleted water with uh, chemotherapeutic drugs can be explained by its own biological activity. In this paper, the first box indicates testing at UC Davis stable isotope facility. The second box indicates depletion of the samples tested. The third box indicates the increased light oxygen ratio. Davinia is also more energetic and changed water, verified by Dr. Rushton Roy at Penn State against hundreds of other water. It was discovered to be the only water that retained its changed state over time and temperature variances. Arrows 1, 2, and 3 show the major Raman spectra of the mathematical curves between the hydrogen and oxygen molecules as found by studies in the Material Sciences Lab at Penn State University under the patronage of the world-renowned material scientist Dr. Rustam Roy and Stephen Settlemeyer. This figure shows the change of the bonds as denoted by arrows 1 and 3 from the previous figure. Arrow 2 is practically non-existent, showing bonds that have substantially changed and with more energy in them. This is the first and only discovery of this phenomenon, showing Davinia water is truly unique. Water this unique and beneficial is only created by Davinia Water Inc. Get healthy today. DaviniaWater.com